Hello everybody, my name is Ivy and you're watching Plan with Ivy and today is going to be a writing vlog. Now if you've been here for a while then you know that I did a writing series back in October which was Preptober for National Novel Writing Month which is NaNoWriMo. And so I talked about how I was setting up to get ready to write my novel and how I was going to approach NaNoWriMo and I will have those videos linked down below if you're interested in those. And in that series I said I was going to vlog my NaNoWriMo experience and update you guys like weekly or daily or at the end of the month. And they didn't. So here's what happened. I vlogged. Every day I did vlog. But I vlogged on my phone and I was having trouble figuring out how to like move all the files to my laptop. And I was just struggling with that. And I was going to do a weekly at first. And then that happened and I was just like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this. And so I was just struggling with that. And by the end of the month, I had all the video filmed. And then I was just going to transfer all over to my laptop. I was having trouble transferring things. Eventually I have figured it out because you can kind of see I'm vlogging on my phone now. So I have figured it out. By the time I figured it out then, it was like basically the new year. I was already struggling making content at the beginning of the year. So I was just like, I'm not going to post this video. I don't know if you guys care about that video anymore. If you do, tell me if I should try to find all my footage and put it together for you guys. Just so I know if you guys are interested in seeing that. But to make a long story short, I won NaNoWriMo. So that's exciting. I ended up writing all 50,000 words in the month of November. So I'm so happy about that. And it feels good to like finish NaNoWriMo. Because in the past, I have done NaNoWriMo, but I've never finished it. I never won. This year I won. It was awesome. But after that, I wrote for a little bit in December and I've been writing on and off of my novel since, but I haven't like completed the first draft and I want to finish this first draft mainly because I want to write other stuff. Secondly, just because I want to finish this draft and like hopefully one day see it turn into a book. But the first thing I have to do is finish a draft. So I'm like dedicating a lot more time this summer to actually like finishing this draft, especially with how my schedule for work goes. I have time to like actually like do more content work for you guys. So I dedicate one day of my time off to like getting out of the house and getting stuff done. And then I dedicate the other day to like creating content for you guys and getting some other home stuff done like meal prep and stuff like that. So today I'm dedicating time to writing. And I want to take you guys along with me. So today I'm going to be doing a word crawl. And if you've never heard about a word crawl before, basically it's like a story. And it gives you like prompts throughout the story. And if you want to move on to the next part of the story, you have to finish writing a certain amount of words. For example, if you're like doing a fantasy crawl and you need to defeat the big bad in order to win, then you have to write like the, a certain amount of words in a certain amount of time or you're going to die and you had to start at a certain point in the story again so it's kind of one of those things that just encourages you to keep writing especially when you're writing your first draft the main thing you need to finish is that draft and so basically this is just a way for me to like finish the draft and just get all the words not worrying about content not worrying about is it good not just like getting out the words and so I'm going to be doing a word crawl and I'm going to invite you guys to do the word crawl with me. I will have a link down below if you're interested in following along with me. But this intro has been long enough, so let's get started. I have my whole setup right. I'm going to be doing my work on the same desk that I do my plan with me on. So I got my laptop ready. I got my world building Bible that I created for this story. If you're interested in seeing what I did for this, I will have the video link down below or in the iCard. And I have some other survival things with me. So I got my headphones so I can listen to my playlist for this book. I have golden Oreos, which have been my new obsession. And I have water. So let's get to it. Okay. So I am ready to start. And I am going to be doing the space crawl. Which is basically like you're traveling through the solar system. And you have to write a certain amount of words in order to get to the next planet so this should be fun so i'm going to turn on the playlist that i created for this book just because that does get me in the mood to like write certain parts of the story so let's do that oh my god wait this is perfect in my story right now i'm writing like the love story basically in my book there's a main character 
who's like of two different fancy races. She's human and elf. And she lives with her father in the human province and she's never known her elven mother. And she doesn't really care to learn more about them, but over time she's starting to learn more about her mother and she's wondering why her mother left. And so I'm actually writing the love story of her parents and reason why her mother left. And so this is going to be a very exciting scene to write. And so the first song that I actually picked was All of Me by John Legend. And I think that's a perfect song to write to for this. And so starting with the word crawl, you have stolen some sort of magical spacecraft with the ability to travel through space at a speed faster than any previous vessel. Now the people who built it are after you and mad. Your mission is to traverse the solar system, achieve escape velocity, and escape into interstellar space. Exciting. So. To achieve escape velocity from the solar system, you must first achieve escape velocity from Earth. Escape velocity for Earth is about 25,000 miles per hour. The highly superior technology of the ship allows you to drop a couple of zeros. So write 250 words in order to achieve the speeds needed. Okay, so I'm going to pull up my story. I'm writing my story in Scrivener and I'm actually going to choose to show my project, my session target. I'll switch camera angles for you guys. Okay, so basically in Scrivener, you can change the session target. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 250 because that's how many words I need to write for this one and apply that. And so my computer will ding me when I write 250 words. So let's get started. <laughs> finished 250 words got a few out my goal for today is 2,000 to 3,000 so I got 10% done over 10% done so moving on to the next part you've made it to the moon to fuel up for the trip ahead you decided to descend to the moon's surface and collect some helium 3 but you better do it quickly or you'll be caught Write 175 words in 10 minutes or less. If you fail, just reset reality and try again. So this is the kind of thing I was talking about. If you don't finish a prop, it's okay. They'll just have you start again. But there are some times where they have you go back to the beginning of the crawl and that just like hurts because you're just like, I did all that work to get to this one point and I had to start again. Eh. So 175 words in 10 minutes. I'm going to set a timer on my watch and let's go. I wrote 175 words in almost 5 minutes and 30 seconds. So I still have a lot of time to spare. So we're going to move on to the next prompt. Okay, so all fueled up and ready to go, you head inward. You do a flyby of Venus, sprint 100 words to avoid your course alter by its gravity. Ooh. So, 100 words. Let's do it. When you hear it feels 
177 words in total for this chapter right now, which is awesome. With every one of my chapters, I try to get to over a thousand for each, just so I don't have to write much later. So we have a hundred now. Next prompt. You fly by Mercury, but what's this? The messenger probe has been taken over by the people chasing you. Sprint 200 words to escape. 200 words in... okay. 200 words. Let's go. That was a close call. You're nearing the sun now. Sprint for 15 minutes to do barrel rolls and evenly distribute the sun's heat across your spacecraft. Okay. and now have a nice gravity assist helping you out. Write 100 words to take a breather from all that excitement. Before I write 100 words, I need a snack. by Earth. Sprint for 10 minutes to be to avoid being detected. I don't want to sprint right now. I just want to keep writing. I'm going to skip that part. Okay. Next up is Mars. Write 300 words in representation of The Rocks, Barnacle Bill, Scooby-Doo, and Yogi. I have no idea what that has to do with space, but we're just going to roll with it. Now I know So 
progress has been made. And then the more I write this, the more I think about what I want their love story to be like. And the longer I realize this chapter is going to be. So, this chapter is going to be pretty long in the end. Which I like, because I love love stories. But this is going to be a long chapter. And the other chapters are going to have to step up their game to get on this chapter's level. So, I'm moving on to the next one. You are now entering the asteroid belt, but what's this? A, t a cloud of tiny asteroid chunks is headed towards your ship. Use random.org to pick a random number between 1 and 10. If the number is more than 5, your ship was severely damaged, you, write must, you must write 600 words in order to fix it. If the number is less than 5, you have survived. Write that many hundred words in celebration. Okay, so... And dang it! I got eight. If the number is more than five, your ship was severely damaged. You must write 600 words in order to fix it. So many words. So many words. And then the next prompt has me write 400 words. Okay, so honestly, I don't want to write for that long because I've already been writing for a pretty much over an hour at this point I want to say and there are other things I want to do today I'll see where I am after I write this prompt and then if I still like have the flow of the chapter going then I will continue on but if I don't I'm going to stop for now so let's see I did not actually finish the 600 words. I only wrote like uh, 300, I think. 420, not that bad. But I think I'm going to put the brakes on this for now because I am just like running low on inspiration for what happens next and basically how to write it. But honestly, I think I did pretty good today. I wrote 2,000 words, which is something I haven't done in a very long time, and I definitely haven't written it in one day in a very long time. So I think I did pretty good. And that's the whole point of me using word crawls. The whole point is to get me started and to give me like a prompt, and then sometimes when I'm in the middle of finishing up the word counts, I get inspired and I just keep going from that, and I usually end up writing more than what that entailed. And that's what help, really helps me while I'm trying to get to my word count or trying to like write more of the story. Just like starting with the prompt and then keep going like after the prompt. So I highly suggest if you're having trouble getting to your word count that you try a word crawl. You can finish up this one since I didn't do that today. I may try to finish it up tomorrow. We'll see. But right now I'm happy with the 2,000 words that I've write, written, enjoyed like writing with me and watch me attempt to do this word crawl. If you're interested in seeing more writing vlogs or more writing videos like this, 
please give this video a thumbs up and tell me what other writing videos I should do down below. And don't forget to check out my prep tour series. I will have that linked in the end card at the end of this video. And until next time, this has been Ivy. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I see you in my next video. Bye!